Excellent. And here we have the new Lenovo ThinkSmart Hub 500. So it's the new uh, certified Skype room system. And later on this year, um, as per the Microsoft roadmap, it will also get Teams. So it will be one of the officially qualified devices for Teams uh, that they're bringing out. So in terms of cabling here on the device, there's a small screw, a uh, normal flathead screw. Um, that you can uh, use to undo and it opens up the cable thing. and as you can see here we've got this little gate and you just clip this in to lift that piece up and then there's another piece here you clip and that allows access to clamp down the cables really nice feature um, that means then once you have your cable in so you've got your power here your HDMI uh, USB and then uh, more USB, obviously, for your cameras and anything else. And then finally, network. So once that is in with cables, good, nice old click there, another click, um, then it is secure. It will not go anywhere. So that's a really great feature on the uh, Hub 500. Also have the Kensington lock as well. So now we have the Hub 500 all cabled in. And we've got it connected to our screen up here. Um, so standard HDMI connection and we've also got the Logitech uh, conference cam there so let's do our first power on so now we're powering up the device as you can see I still have not removed the plastic maybe one day I will so this is our, obviously the first time setup. There were some options in the top right hand side I saw there so this is obviously the certified Skype room system uh, for, it's known as SRS V2 and it boots Windows um, I believe it's IOT and then it will automatically start the Skype app uh, so the Skype room system app which has been uh, specially designed for these uh, Skype room systems so let's go and select our language UK very easy to just use the touch screen to do all this obviously no need to your region up. is set to United Kingdom is that correct? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's very cool. Your keyboard is set to US. Would you like to stick with that? No. No. Which keyboard do you want to use? UK. United Kingdom. I see that you want to use United Kingdom. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No, okay, enough of that now. <laughs> now we can go look for any updates. So that's quite cool. Um, obviously you can use the uh, voice navigation built in and also um, what is very nice on it is that audio is built in. So you do not need a separate audio device for this. So nice and simple, plug it in, plug it into a screen and then um, plug in your camera so you can got, choose a number of different cameras. So obviously connected to the network, did some updates, literally 30 seconds after I started the, uh, or stopped the previous clip. I'll actually connect it to our uh, Skype for Business 2015 on-premises server. Um, and we'll go through the edge, because I'm at home. So that will be our setup, and uh, that's how it's gonna connect back in. So as you can see here now, you can see it's now using the dual screen setup. And uh, you can see the app there now. So it's working out uh, what it's got on a number of screens, etc. Um, so as you can see there quickly now, it's now worked out. It's got the main screen and this screen. So uh, let me just quickly read all this. Um, yeah, I think the agreement's quite good there. So now this is normal sign-in stuff. So um, I will pause the video here and then we will carry on. So now I've entered my um, user account details set any features, i.e. what uh, number of screens I've got set up, choose my theme, so I've gone for the roadmap theme there, and now I click finish. So now it's signing into our Edge server, um, and there we go, done. So we are now have the Skype room system, so it's all ready to you know, start a new meeting, dial someone. Um, could dial our Surface Hub in the office actually. And then obviously present if you've got uh, a cable. So again, within the Skype room systems, you can plug an additional cable in so people can walk in and just uh, connect in as you know they do traditionally. Um, but that's it now, that's it. We're all set up uh, and signed in. 
That's how easy it is to deploy a Skype room system. So here I'm going to show you how to make a call to another device. Now, we all know having Skype to Skype, uh, either room systems, surface hubs is great. But what about if you want to call that traditional VTC system? So make sure you uh, dial in the name of the room system and you can see we've resolved it. Now let's make a call and we'll invite it to a call. So my Skype room system, call in my traditional uh, Cisco device here. And let's just mute. There we have it. Uh, Skype room system talking to traditional VTC using Pexib Infinity. So very, very simple, just dial the name you need to do and then you're connected. So very simple. And if you want to do things like content sharing, that all just works natively too. So very, very simple for users to come into the meeting room and dial any other system, whether it's a user, a Surface Hub, another Skype room system, or even traditional uh, VTC systems. Thanks for watching.